Hello students, it's me Krishna Aryan, your mathematics teacher. Today I will teach set iron logic in brief. Yesterday in my video I discussed just only the concept of the police statement. Yesterday we talked about what is statement and we know that statement is a declarative sentence that is either true or false but not both. And especially in statement, in mathematical statement, we have to know about three sentences. Uh, one is exclamatory sentence, imperative sentence, and interrogative sentence. If this type of sentence we saw there, they are not mathematical statement. Today we are going to talk about connectives. What do you mean by connectives? Simply, if you are going to talk about the mathematical connectives, there are sometimes words sometimes phrases or symbol that is used to connect two or more than two sentences. For example, if I write 2 plus 3 equals to 5 and 3 is a even, sorry, is a odd number. Now, you can see here one statement 2 plus 3 equals to 5 simple statement and another statement 3 is a odd number another statement. Here, I connect these two statements by AND, OR, then this AND is one mathematical connectives. So, uh, let's talk about the connectives, those words or phrases or symbol, symbol that is used to connect two or more than two simple statement simple statements now let's talk about what kind of connectives we use in mathematics Especially in class 11, we will discuss there one is conjunction, another is dissection, another is uh, conditional, biconditional, and one more negation negation they are mathematical connectives now let's talk about the symbol for them negation is symbolized like this and conjunction is denoted by this symbol destruction is denoted by this symbol conditional is denoted by this symbol and biconditional is denoted by this symbol and for this especially conjunction means what and in over we can write and dissection or and conditional if and then and by conditional if i f f if i only if now talking about connectives in mathematics negation conjunction dissection conditional by conditional the symbol for them is this and this, 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 this. If you want to say conjunction in word and dissection in word or if conditional, if I am then and by conditional, if I am only if. Let's talk about negation. What is negation? If I say the opposite version of the given statement, then that is negation. Simply while we are defining negation, negation is a statement that denies the given statement. For an example, if I say 2 plus 3 equals to 5, while well, I am going to make, suppose this is a statement P. Let's write the negation of P. It is very easy. 2 plus 3 is not equals to 5. This is the negation of P. The symbol is negation of P. So, negation means simply which deny the given statement. Uh, if there is auxiliary verb, then we just we have to put not. If there is not, then we have to remove not. And one more rule in negation is, uh, I will write here one thing. If all is there, you have to write shall not. 
and if there is some then you have to write no for example let's listen one example all students are leverage in this class write the negation of this statement and i have to write some students are not leverage in this class similarly some teachers presence all always presence at school no teachers presence at always at school in this way you have to use uh, some words in the lessons uh, so move to conjunction conjunction is a statement that combine two or more simple statement by and or by this symbol look at this example the previous one this is the example of conjunction here the two statement are connected by the symbol or word and this is the example of conjunction Similarly, in this section, simply P and Q T statement is combined by the word or or by this symbol. This is disjunction. Conditional. If the two simple statement are connected by this symbol or if and then, then this is conditional statement. Now, by conditional, if the two statement are uh, uh, connected by the symbol this or uh, if and only if, then this is what by conditional. especially in this class we have to know the meaning and then we have to make the truth table of the given uh, questions for an example i want to make the truth table of this but p and q similarly truth table of p or q and then p then q or negation of p uh, now uh, after this we will read the how to make t r u t s truth table of given combined statements now I am going to teach how to make truth table of combined statement. Uh, let's talk about first conjunction. Uh, let's suppose there are two statement P and Q. Possibilities of P and Q is written as true true false false and true false true false. That you have already written. Uh, Computer science also zero zero one one like this. And let's talk about conjunction P and Q. In two table of P and Q, you have to remember if both are true, true. Otherwise false. In conjunction two table, if both are true, true. Otherwise false. So let's look. P and Q both true, so true. True false. It is false. False true, it is also false, and false false that is obviously false. Only one thing remember uh, in conjunction or in intersection, you can say intersection also, but it is better to say P conjunction to Q. Uh, if there is true true true, otherwise false. Now talk about uh, disjunction. Here remember false false false, otherwise true. So what? True, 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 true. False also true. False true also true. But false, false, false. Remember false, false, false in disjunction. Describe the truth table of conjunction and disjunction in this video. And in next video, we will talk about the uh, truth table of conditional and biconditional and others many more. So let's watch the next uh, episode also.